Short-barreled rifles are finding mainstream use in law enforcement roles as well as civilian recreation and defensive purposes. Using a shorter weapon system gives the shooter an unparalleled advantage when working in a close environment. It is important to understand, however, how shooting an SBR can affect your ammunition performance. The SBR is going to produce a much slower muzzle velocity when compared to shooting a standard length barrel. This is due to the bullet simply not having the same distance or time to accelerate in the bore before leaving the muzzle. You can see as much as 20 to 40 foot per second reduction in velocity per inch of barrel reduction. This causes a less stable bullet. The bullet is stabilized by spin. A faster spinning bullet is going to be more stable than a slower spinning bullet. When you reduce the muzzle velocity by shooting an SBR, you are also reducing the amount of spin imparted on the bullet by the rifling, making it more unstable. The twist rate also comes into play too. Using a 1 in 7 twist versus a 1 in 9 is going to give you more stability because the bullet's going to be spinning faster, given the same load and velocities produced. The bullet length also comes into play. A longer bullet, which is going to be heavier, is going to need more spin to stabilize than a shorter, lighter bullet. There are some safety concerns when shooting an SBR, but it's mostly when shooting suppressed. If a bullet is unstable as it enters a suppressor, it is easy for a baffle strike to occur. This can damage the suppressor, the weapon system, or injure the shooter. If shooting unsuppressed, an unstable bullet has a very unpredictable flight path. It may not go where the shooter intends it, which is a liability. Terminal performance may suffer as well. If a completely unstable bullet hits a target, it's completely unpredictable. It may hit sideways, on its base, point first, there's no way of knowing. If it is stable in flight, it may not have enough stability to remain point forward once it enters terminal media and expand or fragment as designed. It may tumble or do a through and through like a full metal jacket will. These are some of the major differences that a shooter should consider before using an SBR platform.